Okay, let's talk about the binomial theorem, which you learned in high school. But we're going to restate it and reevaluate it now in the context of this course. The binomial theorem says if you have to evaluate x plus y to a power, x plus y to the nth power, you can express that as a sum. It's the sum, k equals 0 to n, of the binomial coefficient, n choose k, times x to the n minus k, y to the k. Now, where does that come from? So let's give an explanation in which I want you to see x plus y to the nth power as x plus y times x plus y times x plus y times x plus y, where you imagine that factor written out a total of n times. Now, how does one actually carry out the multiplication? You take a term from the first. So that term is either an x or a y. Then you take a term from the second. That's either an x or a y. A term from the third is either an x or a y, etc. From each of the terms, you always take either the x or the y. And the product is nothing but the sum of all of the choices done collectively. And so I write at the bottom, you're going to take either x or y from each of the terms, but how many different ways can you take those terms? If you take y a total of k times, then you take x, the remaining n minus k. And so how many ways to select k from n? That's the binomial coefficient, n choose k. And that, that's why the total number of terms that have that form, x to the n minus k, y to the k, is the binomial coefficient, n choose k. Now, the, the binomial theorem is quite useful in evaluating something like this. If I need to know what is 3a squared minus 5b to the 25th power, well, first let me state, I hope I don't have to do that, because I really dislike multiplying something out to the 25th power. But in this case, all I'm asked to do is find one term in it. I want to know what is the coefficient of a to the 14th, b to the 18th, in that entire product. Now, I could just multiply it all out and read the answer as one bit of information. But I want to be selectively lazy and, what, and say, what kind of work must I do in order to find this answer? And the binomial theorem is our ticket. So let's look at the term a to the 14th, b to the 18th. Now, we're multiplying something which is a constant times a squared minus another constant times b. So how do you get a power of a to the 14th? That means you're going to take the first of the two terms seven times. a squared times a squared times a squared. You're going to do that seven times. So out of the 25 terms, you're going to take the a squared term seven times, and the remaining 18 times, you're going to take the b term. And so now, with that information, I can just write down the answer. The answer is 25 choose 7 out of the 25 terms. Choose the a squared term seven times. Now multiply that by the 3 to the 7th. Where does the 3 to the 7th come from? It's the 3 in front of the a squared. You're going to take that seven times, so that'll give you three to the seventh power. And then you'll multiply that by minus five to the 18th power. Okay, now there's still some arithmetic to be done, but in the spirit of our course, that's a perfectly good answer right there. Question here. For 25, that's a good question. Can anyone, his question was, should it be 25 choose 18, or should it be 25 choose 7? And everyone is supposed to say, it's the same. Basic identity for binomial coefficients, n choose k is n choose n minus k. Okay? That's a good question, though. All right. Now, there's a multinomial theorem, which has its explanation 
exactly equivalent. I've written the multinomial form with only four powers, with only four terms. You can do it with any number. So if I'm going to express something like x, x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 to the nth power, that is a sum over all terms with k1 plus k2 plus k3 plus k4 equal to n of the multinomial coefficient n choose k1, k2, k3, k4 times x to the x1 to the k1, et cetera, et cetera. So it's the same formula. If you only have two terms, this just reduces back to the binomial theorem. And now I can ask a question, which is entirely similar to what we just did. In this monstrous expression, 4a cubed minus 5b plus 9c squared plus 7d to the 19th power, what is the coefficient of a to the 6, b to the 8, c to the 6, d to the 6? Again, you could multiply it all out and just read out one bit of information. But we want to be selectively lazy and say, what amount of work do we need to do in order to answer the specific question? And now, let's look at the powers. You see the a term has an a cubed. And if you're going to get an a to the sixth power, what does that mean? You're going to take that term twice. Is that clear? In order to get an a to the sixth power, you're going to take the a cubed term twice. All right, b has a one power, so you're going to take that eight times. The c has a term c squared, and you're going to get c to the sixth, so how many times will you take the c squared term? Three times. And then finally, the d has a single power, and you're going to get d to the sixth, so you're going to take that six times. So now, the answer is the multinomial coefficient 19 choose 2 comma 8 comma 3 comma 6 times 4 squared, y squared, you're going to take the term with the a cubed in it twice, minus 5 to the 8th time, you're going to take that 8, you're going to take the 9 only 3 times, because you're taking c squared to the 6th, so that's 3, so it'll be a 9 cubed, and then finally 7 to the 6th. All right, again, we have some arithmetic to do, but now you could assign it to a junior high school student. Okay? The multinomial theorem, the binomial theorem, very powerful tools for evaluating terms in products.